It's Friday, which means that it's new makeup release Friday. You guys know this is one of my favorite series. So if you guys are new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back to another episode of New Makeup Releases where we sit back, relax, and talk about all the new makeup releases. So you guys want to see what's launching this week, what my thoughts are, well then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so before we dive into the video, I just want to ask my fellow friends here. Um, I really do love Fenty Beauty, but I have noticed a common trend with some of their red products. So I actually am wearing the Fenty Beauty. This is the MVP, like um, suede velvet liquid lip situation. Feels really nice in the lips. Love the color. But I put it on today and it has a smell to it. It's... It's starting not to smell good. And this is really weird because I bought this less than a year ago. I bought this, I think like in January or February, I bought this and it's starting to have a smell to it. And I don't understand why I had the same issue with like their first red liquid lip they ever came out with. It smelled like fish. And I don't understand why my Fenty products that are red are starting to smell like this because their glosses don't. So if anyone can tell me what is going on, I would greatly appreciate it because <laughs> no, like this shit, like, I've had lip products that have lasted me for years and I've never had issue. Granted, they're expired, but I don't care. They still smell good, taste good, feel good, whatever. This is starting to get a smell and it's been less than a year. And I just want to know why, what is that? Like what? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I think, cause I just, I'm not gonna lie. I just watched, um, Shane Dawson's documentary that he did about discount stores. TJ Maxx and talked about how they sell like used makeup because I saw it all over TikTok. I talked to you guys about it yesterday. I was like, you know what? Let me watch this video. And I was so blown away by how they actually resell used makeup. I was like, this is absolutely disgusting because I go to TJ Maxx to buy makeup to do fun videos and knowing that they do that, Oh, makes my stomach churn just a little bit. And then not to mention, I knew about like the L'Oreal and why I sell stuff, but I didn't know about Clean Beauty. I didn't know that with Clean Beauty, they take away like the um, preservatives and the products to make it nice and clean. But it's also why products are getting mold in it and expiring so much faster because they want you to go buy more makeup. So I'm wondering, I don't think Fenty Beauty is a clean beauty brand. But I'm wondering if that's starting to happen because like if you guys have not seen Patrick Ta recently has been all over TikTok because they've been finding mold in their eyeshadow palettes. And I'm like, how is this happening? So I actually do have a few clean brands like Merit Beauty is one of them. Oh my God, that's how they get you. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this up because I, you know, obviously I have a lot of makeup. It's my job here on YouTube. So, um, if you guys can give me some helpful advice about what to do about this. Am I the only one that's experiencing funky smells in this? Uh, your advice, have you guys seen the Shane Dawson thing? Not that I'm a big supporter of him, but like I generally thought that was a really well thought out video and it's really eye opening because I do buy a lot of makeup and I used to work at Ulta. So to see what they're doing is just stomach churning. But anyway, that's beside the point. We're going to go ahead and dive into today's new makeup releases. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the brand new Lunar Beauty launch. Now you guys know, you guys know that I'm a big Lunar Beauty fan. Lunar Beauty is one of my absolute favorite brands besides Glam Light and like Blend Bunny and Ofra. I absolutely love Lunar Beauty. I have a whole drawer sitting in front of me dedicated to Lunar Beauty. So they're actually launching today. Um, so either by the time you guys see this or right before, they're actually launching the brand new siren collection so they're gonna have the siren palette which does retail for 55 dollars. it's a little pricey for his other 18 pan eyeshadow it's a little pricey compared to his other 18 pan eyeshadow palettes but he does have dual chromes and multi chromes in his palette so he did have to up the price just a little bit to pay for those products which i understand he's also rolling out with three liquid lips that are 18 dollars a piece you guys can use my code alley which will save you guys 10 percent off the individual items i don't think my code does work on bundles but it does go live today at 10 a.m pacific standard time that'd be 1 p.m eastern standard time so like i said by the time you guys see this it may or may not be live but i have to say i think the outside packaging is just so freaking beautiful i live for the outside packaging it is just my god so stunning but the color store on the inside i i don't know how i feel i love cool tones so i love the fact that it's cool tones but i don't know like i want to love this i do but it doesn't make me as excited. Maybe just because it's just a photo. I feel like I'm going to have to see this in person to really gauge whether or not I'm really going to fall in love with this palette. To me, I think she's pretty. 
I do think she's pretty, but I'm not like, oh my God, this is the best looking palette I've ever seen. I'm not like that. I, I really wish I would be because I love the advent calendar, the nude prism, the clips. Like I love so many of my Manny's previous palettes that when I see this one, I'm like, have we seen this before? You know what I mean? So I'm really curious to see what my thoughts are going to be whenever this does come in. Um, I would definitely give you guys a thorough, honest review, but looking at it right now, it is a pretty palette, but I need to see it in person to really tell whether I'm going to love it. Cause so far I'm looking at it going, it's pretty, but like, I'm not overwhelmed by it either. So I wanted to let you guys know that that is launching today in case you guys do want to pick it up. I am still wearing the Lunar, Be the Lunar Beauty Lunaversal powder. That is just <laughs> so damn good. I freaking am living for this powder. Up next, I'm actually so freaking excited about this palette. Now I saw this palette leaked a while back and I think I might have talked about it in new makeup releases. I think I might have, but it's officially been announced. But Natasha Denona is releasing their Exxon palette. So it's going to be a 15 pan color extension to the mini Exxon palette from classic to cat, soft to sultry, smoky eye looks, the vivid grays, sparkling silvers, icy pinks, and nude shades for $69. Now it's actually going to be available online at Ulta on the 22nd and then online um, for other retailers on the 23rd. And I'm absolutely picking this up. First off, you guys know I love a good cool tone eyeshadow palette, which is so funny because Manny's is cool tone too, but I love a good cool tone eyeshadow palette. But I also love the fact that this is like a smoky-esque eyeshadow palette. I don't really have a lot of great eyeshadow palettes. I did have long ago the Jeffree Star Cremated palette. And I did love that palette, but I no longer have that palette. And I don't really have that many gray, cool tone smoky palettes. There's very few that I have in my collection. So this would be a beautiful addition to it. I can see that I can see this palette being a beautiful, like wonderful holiday palette, glam palette, smoky eyeshadow palette. This is going to be everything. And it's so funny because I originally had the mini version of this. And then last year when I did my declutter, I was like, let me declutter this. I don't ever really use this. I decluttered it. And then before I actually end up doing my final declutter, I went through my, I went through the declutter pile one more time and New Year's Eve was rolling up and I was like, you know what? I could actually use this eyeshadow palette. So I pulled it out of the declutter pile and I'm so freaking glad that I did because I actually really love that little mini palette. My beautiful friend Ashley got it for me. She knew what she was doing. She's like, bitch, you got this. And I was like, I don't know. And then I actually fell in love with it. And I'm so glad that I never got rid of it because I used it a lot actually this past year. So seeing that they're making a bigger version of it, it's just getting me so excited. I'm absolutely going to be picking this up. It is truly beautiful and i just kind of feel bad for natasha denona because if you guys have not noticed every time she's going to have a palette release it's always spoiled online somebody keeps leaking it i don't think it's intentional i generally think that someone keeps leaking her products and revealing it before she has a chance to and that sucks and let me tell you from experience that sucks i've had that happen to me with my ofra cosmetics influencer pan project when i first did my collab with ofra where i just got to pick my favorite products um they sent out pr and people were announcing it on their stories before i even had a chance to and it was getting reposted and i was like this isn't fair because you're trying to take me away from me being able to announce it myself like we have a set time for me to announce this and you're sharing it already and people are unboxing and putting on the stories. Like I didn't like that. Like I did not like that at all. And I had a long conversation about over to over with it. And they were so kind and understanding. So when it came to this new launch, I made it very clear that like, please don't send out PR until I do my announcement because I want to be the first one to announce my own collection. Cause I didn't want someone to take that away from me. Cause I know what it's like. Paige knows what it's like. It's been done to her. So I could just imagine how Natasha Nona putting a lot of thought into this, getting so excited to have it revealed online and kind of being spoiled just sucks because you could, you see people coming in with like the ridicules and the judgment before she even had a chance to announce it. And I just, I don't know. It's a shitty situation. I wish people would stop doing that. Let the brand have their moment. Next, it looks like RMS Beauty is doing their 2023 sets. So they're going to do a deluxe glow kit for 75 and a clean and bright kit for 48. I've actually never tried this brand. I actually have seen it at Sephora, but I never actually picked it up myself. I don't really hear a lot of people talk about this brand either. I'm sure it's a nice big brand that people are like loving and Obviously it's doing well if it's in Sephora, but I never tried it myself, but I do love when they do holiday kits because it's a great way to try out some products. So that's something I actually am looking at during the Sephora um, Rouge Shale that starts next Friday, by the way. Up next, it looks like Lawless is doing Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in Cinnamon Sugar. <laughs> 
I love cinnamon. Cinnamon is one of my favorite flavors. It's the only gum that I really ever eat besides peppermint. I love cinnamon. I do cinnamon infused like coffee. I do cinnamon infused old fashions, which are the best. I do anything and everything cinnamon. So that for them to roll out with like a lip mask that's cinnamon flavor, uh -huh, I might buy it just to eat it. I know you're not supposed to, but if it tastes good, I can't, it's on my lips. There's a chance I'm gonna lick my lips and swallow. So like, if it's cinnamon, <laughs> mine as well, right? Ah, oh, that actually looks really nice. Okay, so up next, it looks like Chanel. Chanel. Do you guys remember eight, um, American Horror Story was like Chanel number two? Do you guys remember that? <laughs> but they are doing a holiday collection. So they're going to be rolling out with a Lemire Graphique. It retails for $88. It's a um, I five pan eyeshadow palette that's inspired by the Roaring Twenties, which is really nice. And they're doing a Lemire, which is $70, which is a finishing powder. And they're doing a Blue de Chanel, which is $185. Looks like it's going to be perfume. I would never pay this money for any of this products, just so you guys know. I do think it's pretty, but I don't think it's worth it. Although I do want to smell this perfume. I do want to smell this perfume. I've been slowly getting into perfumes. I love going into Sephora and like smelling different perfumes. Um, it's, I feel like it's a lot of fun, but I also like am too frugal to ever want to spend $185 on a perfume. I'm like, you know, cause I'm like, I can just go to TJ Maxx and oh my gosh, I just talked about TJ Maxx earlier. I can just go there and get like discounted perfume, but that one is wrapped up and, and sealed. So I do, I do like that. It's not returned, but yeah. Up next, it looks like Naturum is releasing the Cafe Collection. It's a Fido Glow Lip Balm. It retails for $10. Wow, that is actually really, really informative. That's really affordable. It's formulated with Fido Divide Esters Shea Butter and plant sit cleanly to moisturize and cushion lips, leave them feeling soft, soft, feel, leave them feeling silky, soft, and smooth, and con contains a natural vanilla flavor for ten dollars. It's so funny because I was actually just talking to Angelica yesterday, and she was telling me about these actual lip balms, saying that she was telling Heather that she needs to get them. I wonder uh, where I can find these at because I've heard people were trying them, reviewing them. I've heard great things about these lip balms from Angelica, so it's something I'm definitely be interested in, especially because it is like a neutral style, and I do love a good neutral lip and a lip balm. So I'm actually. Interested in this one. Ooh, we have not, I have not seen a launch from Revlon in a hot minute, but it looks like Revlon is releasing their Luminescence Serum Blush and Tinted Serum. This is going to be a gel serum blush that provides sheer color and visible plumping cheeks with a healthy looking glow. It retails for $11.83, very precise. And then they're going to have their Luminous Tinted Serum that retails for $14.04. And it provides a light natural coverage that enhances your complexion instantly with a soft satin finish, breathable, buildable, and boost your skin radiance and even skin tone and visibly reduce dark spots over time. I'm not going to lie. I really, really do love Revlon. I fell in love with their foundation this past year and I got to try it out. They've been so kind to give me a couple of stuff in PR and I've really enjoyed a lot of the products minus a few because some don't work for me fully all the way, but I still really do enjoy this brand. It's super affordable. Their products work beautifully, especially if you have oily skin, they have great line for oily skin, but not only that, they have a great line that caters to dry skin as well. I really I really do love this brand. They've been nothing but sweet to me. Really good time playing with their products and I'm just truly obsessed with like their complexion products. So even though this won't really necessarily work for me, I might try the blush. I don't think I tried the tinted serum because it's like for radiance and luminous and I just don't think that's going to work well for me, but I am, I am trying to, I, mean, I am excited to try the blush though. Oh, this one's actually so cool. Okay. So it looks like Makeup by Mario is releasing their 2023 mini sets. These are mini moisture glow on the glow plumping lip serum for $24. You get three shades. That is absolutely fantastic because these little, these little plumping serums retail for like $20 all by themselves. So if I can get like three little mini ones for $24, that's actually really exciting because I don't use mine all the way. So that's something I definitely would recommend picking up during the Sephora at BIB sale because you guys can actually get to try these products if you have not done so at such an affordable rate at a discount cost. And I just think holiday sets are so fun. They just, I don't know, they just remind me so much of the play by Sephora. I really miss that box. It was $10. I got to try out great sample stuff from Sephora and I just, I fell in love with brands because of it. So I love when they do little mini sets. I feel like that'd be kind of cool one day to do like a whole video where I just buy all the mini sets and let you guys know my true opinions on them. But so far I think they're worth it because that's stuff I've gotten I really love. All right. It looks like Valentino is releasing their holiday collection. So they're releasing their eye to cheek two-in-one eyeshadow and blush for 52 
and they're refillable lipsticks for 45 and a color flip eyeshadow palette for 98. I've never tried anything from Valentino. This brand is a bit too pricey for me. It's a bit out of my price. It's out, it's out of my, uh, it's out of my price range. It's a little too bougie for me, but I will say I've heard great things about this brand. Maybe at some point I try them. I don't think that they are worth the price point in my opinion. I think it's more for the packaging and the name than anything else, but it is available if you guys do want to check it out. You know, I have been seeing this brand everywhere and I've never tried it, but Glossier is releasing their new holiday sets. They're releasing a mini cloud paint duo for 23. I've never tried anything from this brand. I think the reason why I haven't is I think it's more for like minimalistic makeup looks, which is great, but I like the more full cover stuff and I just don't know if they make any products geared towards oily skin but I've heard amazing things about this brand they're now sort of sold in Sephora I've heard people talk about them for years maybe at some point I will try out this brand because it does look really fun I just never tried it at some point I will. Okay, so up next, this is so freaking cute, but Wet n Wild is releasing their Holiday 23, 2023 collection. It's called the Holiday Foxtrot Collection. It's gonna come with a liquid highlighter and a sponge, a two-piece retractable eyeliner, a three-piece makeup brush set, a two-piece makeup sock sponge set, Care to Share highlighter and blush set, a holiday, a holly jolly hip highlighter and brush set, a foxy treat highlighter and brush set, a nutmeg pot and eye face palette, sugar plum whiskers eye and face palette, a jolly berry jumpy eye and face palette, a mascara and lash curler, a gingerbread snuggle lip liner and gloss, pouncing plump lip liner and gloss set, and a candy cane critters lip liner and gloss set. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie guys, these little freaking palettes are so cute. I love it. I think it's so cute. The only problem is that like I'm not the biggest fan of Wet n Wild formula. I think their formula is just really not great. Uh, their shadows just tend to not really work for me. They're hard pan. They're not the easiest to work with. But I do think that their little outside pieces, like their little packaging is always so cute. I love their concepts. And I also just really love how affordable Wet n Wild is. Not everything Wet n Wild sucks. I'm just not a big fan of their eyeshadow palettes. But um, I might pick up a few things from this collection just because I love having like a good Christmas palette and to have like a little polar bear and a little fox. Oh my God, that is just the cutest. I want it. That's so cute. Oh, like the little fox is on here. Stop. I have to have it. I have to have it. Actually, I haven't really heard of this brand much. It's called by By Terry. It's the Opalent Star Collection. So it's going to include like quite a few stuff like an eyeshadow palette, some mascaras, lip liners, lip products, maybe some concealers or highlighters. I really can't tell. It's super cute collection. I really do like the feel of it. Um, I'm going to pass. I will say the eyeshadow palette is kind of pretty. I just haven't heard of this brand. I don't even know where you find this brand at. It looks cool though little holiday cute collections. All right, guys, if you live in Europe, there's a new collection coming to you. This is the new eyeshadow palette from Nabla Cosmetics. It's called the Side by Side Nude Palette Baby. And they're also releasing a collection that's going to include um, some lipstick, some beauty bags, and a palette. And it actually looks really cute, cute. Nice little like neutral moment. I've tried like one or two things from Nabla Cosmetics. I wasn't really impressed with the products I did try, probably because they're also like pressed glitter at the time. So I do want to try some more things from this brand. I do think this palette's actually kind of cute. Great little holiday set, but I'm obviously going to pass on this one. Okay, so up next, we have a new collection. This is the Madonna Celebration Tour Makeup Collection. Madonna x Jared Blandino limited edition inspired by some of Madonna's most iconic looks from her tours over the last four decades. I'm going to pass on this. Um, it's pretty affordable for what it is. It's like the prices are like for, you know, 25 for a mirror, 45 for a highlighter, like a virgin plumping lip gloss, which is 30 and blonde ambition matte lipstick when the iconic red for 30. I'm going to pass. I... I'm not really a big Madonna fan. I've never really been a big Madonna fan. I don't know why. She just, I think she was kind of before my time. Like I grew up listening to Britney Spears who obviously was obsessed with like Madonna, but like my parents didn't really grow me up in Madonna. They grew me up on like the Beatles, Prince, Michael Jackson. Like I never really grew up listening to Madonna as much. So I just, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of her. So this would be like an easy pass for me, but it is a, but if you are a big Madonna fan and you're a collector item, this is something you think you guys might actually like. So I think it's actually available now if you guys want to get it. Okay. So up next, it looks like Thrive Cosmetics is releasing their Pout Hero Liquid Balm Lip Treatment. Jeez, that's such a long name. This restores moisture with the protective veil of skin nourishing vitamins and plant extracts that deliver powerful 
antioxidant protection and hydration for $26. There is two different flavors. There's peppermint and gingerbread. I would 100% get the peppermint flavor. I've only tried Thrive Cosmetics like mascaras. I've never tried anything else, else in this brand and I love their mascara. So I'm kind of curious to see how this would be. Um, I haven't heard anyone talk about this. I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about Thrive Cosmetics. So this is something that I definitely would be kind of interested in. Up next, we have another day, another ColourPop. ColourPop is finally rolling out with a makeup collection. We have not seen them really the last couple months, if not longer. Are they okay? You think you guys think something's going on? Because, like, they have barely been releasing makeup. They have not done a mystery box since, like, August either. They were, like, on a roll last year doing mystery box after mystery box. Maybe they do a Black Friday mystery box. And y'all already know I'm going to get it. But ColourPop hasn't been posting much. I really hope that they're okay. So they're actually releasing a new collection. This is the Cloud 9 palette. This is going to be full of silver. This will be full of trending silver blues, celestial simmers, and neutrals for your everyday frosty cyber, glacier blue, or renaissance inspired glam. It retails for $19. Their prices have definitely gone up. For sure, because these palettes used to be like 15, now they're 19. I will say this is a beautiful palette. Absolutely beautiful palette. This is something I could definitely see myself picking up. I haven't bought any yet, but I definitely want to pick it up. I might just wait to Black Friday though. Because they do like 30% off their website on Black Friday. And that's usually when things are worth getting it for me. But I will say this is really beautiful. I do love a cool tone shimmer moment. It does kind of look a little bit like the 1111 collection. Just a tad or like the Twisted Sleep palette. But it's really beautiful. I just love a cool tone neutral palette. There's something about it that is just so freaking pretty. Especially great for the holiday season. So I'm definitely going to pick this up. I'm just going to wait until there's a sale to pick it up. But I um... I think it's really cute. Oh my God, guys. I got to let you guys in a little secret. So um, there is a new collection rolling out. This is the fluffy packaging. This is the um, Care Bears collaboration with She Glam. So they are releasing a three cuddle time blushes for $5.49. The three sweet wish colors eyeshadow eyeliners for $39 for $3.99 and a share a smile lip kit for 10 share your care palette for $9 and catch some fun highlighting puffs for $4.99. You guys can get the full collection for $54.99. And I have to say, I do think the packaging is super cute, but I'm definitely not going to get this collection. And my little secret I want to tell you guys is that She Glam has actually been reaching out to me quite a bit in my emails asking to send me PR and I've ignored every single email. I don't want anything to do with She Glam. I don't want anything to do, do with Sheen, She Glam. I don't want anything to do with that brand whatsoever. You guys know how I feel about She Glam. It's a brand I will not support and they have been emailing me asking to send me PR and I've ignored every single one. And I think it's kind of funny because I just, I always forget this brand exists until I've been getting those emails and then now to see that they rolled out with a Care Bear collection, that's such an easy pass. <laughs> This next collection, yo, it is so cute. But Essence is doing their holiday 2023 collection. It's Merry Xmas, my dear collection. So it's going to come out with quite a few products. There's like a highlighter, a lip mask, an eyeshadow crown top, an eyeshadow, some look of blushes, some glitter toppers, nail stuff. And oh my gosh, I think this is super cute. I, you know what's so funny? You guys know I love Halloween. I clearly love Halloween. And also my light went out. Um battery died. I need to get a new battery. But I love, I love also like Christmas makeup. There's something about Christmas makeup that just gets me like so excited. And maybe because we're rolling into like the last week of October where I'm just getting really hyped for Christmas now. I've been seeing so much Christmas stuff that I'm kind of like itching to like switch my stuff over Christmas, but that's not going to happen until Black Friday. But I'm just really looking forward to Christmas this year. I think it's going to be a really beautiful time. I love the Christmas season just as much as I love um, Halloween, but Halloween will always come first. But I just love how these brands are doing such cute little stuff for Christmas and like to come on, like to have a little deer like, is that not the cutest? Oh my God, that's the cutest. I love it. I love anything animals. Animals and Christmas are just the most adorable thing in the world. <laughs> Alrighty, looks like Kylie Skin is rolling out with a new vanilla bath collection. This is going to include a body wash, body scrub, and body lotion. I can safely say that none of us give a shit about that. I'm not a fan of Kylie Skin and um, 
not gonna get it. Up next, I actually think this is really cool, but Joe Malone Cologne is releasing a 2023 holiday collection. So it looks like it's gonna come in like this really cool box if you guys wanna get, they're releasing so much stuff, holy shit. But they're releasing so much. Um, looks like it's gonna come in like in a box. You guys can get a little like advent calendar style. You guys can get candles, colognes, and everything like that. Um, I think it's super cute, really expensive for what it is. But I love advent calendars. I haven't bought any this year. I definitely wanna buy some. I just gotta figure out the best ones I wanna get. But I kinda like the idea of like a perfume advent calendar, like a candle advent calendar. Like those to me are so fucking, like those to me are so fucking cool. Like I wanna get one for myself because one, I love candles. I always had them lit. But two, it'd be kinda new, nice to get like little perfume mini sizes like those are so cool and it's something different than makeup um i'm gonna see what type of uh, advent calendars i can get this year because i really do love them i might pick something up for you guys to see because I'm, I'm excited about them you know i didn't know that makeup made i didn't know that walmart made makeup but i guess they do because they're doing a collaboration with brat stalls so this is the brat stalls collaboration with walmart and it's their makeup collection so they have gloss sets for eight and eyeshadow palettes for eight and a bag for ten it's available now I'm gonna pass. Bratz was something I never got into. I was into Barbies. Bratz came after I grew out of the Barbie phase. And so this isn't really a collection for me. And to think this is more for like kids, honestly. And I feel like this would be a great little starter cat starter kit for any kid out there who's getting into makeup. Um, this would be a cool little like starter kit for them. Cause like, you know, it's Bratz and people like know about the Bratz dolls and they're cute, but I think it's more kid makeup than anything. Last but not least, it looks like Pete Louise is dropping a new collection. This says, Flutter past insecurities and never look back. It's time to become the very best version of you from AM to PM. It's launching November 1st. It seems to be quite a bit of pastel palettes with some beautiful rainbow palettes. I absolutely love P. Louise palettes. They have some great, great formulas in there. Um, they have some great formula. I really do love the color schemes. Their products work beautifully. So that's something I'm definitely intrigued to pick up. But that is all the new makeups that we new makeup releases that we have this week let me know down below what you guys think of them are you guys excited are you guys bored i'm actually kind of excited this week i really love the fact that i've been seeing a lot of drugstores coming out with their holiday collections and they have like the cute little like christmas animals on there like polar bears and deers and that's getting me so excited i'm also excited to try out the new lunar beauty collection because the new lunar beauty collection and the natasha denona Kind of exciting, it's definitely more of a busier week compared to last week, it was a lot slower, but I'm definitely kind of excited to try out the new makeup that we have coming this week. Not to mention next week does start the Sephora VIP sale. Speaking of that guys, next Thursday, October 26th, it's my birthday. Make sure you guys show up for my live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I'm gonna be giving away five mystery boxes as my way of saying happy birthday to you. So with that said, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post almost every day in the month of Vlogoween. And I realized I forgot the intro again. I am so sorry, guys. I have been dropping the ball. I'm so sorry. And to all my beautiful, wonderful patron members, thank you guys for everything. I freaking love you guys. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you. And I'll definitely see you guys in my very next video.